Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera. The second subtopic of this chapter is thermodynamic process. The learning outcome of this subtopic are first 14.2 A. Define the following thermodynamic process: isothermal, isochoric, isobaric, adiabatic. And second 14.2 B. Discuss pressure versus volume graph for all the thermodynamic process. Firstly, we need to introduce a specific kind of thermodynamic process. There are four specific kind of thermodynamic process. It is isothermal process, isochoric process, isobaric process, adiabatic process. First process we'll call is isothermal process. It is defined as a process that occur at constant temperature. Constant temperature is mean initial temperature equal final temperature. We need to understand about isothermal changes. When a gas expands or compress isothermally, delta U equal zero. From first law thermodynamic, Q equal delta U plus W, delta U equal zero, we get new equation, Q equal W. Finally, PV equal constant. After that, from previous equation, PV equal constant can be expressed as P1 V1 equal P2 V2. For more understanding, we need to compare two situations of gas. Number one, if the gas expands isothermally, does V2 greater than V1? We get W equal positive. Number two, if the gas compress isothermally, does V2 less than V1, we get W equal negative. Now, we look at emission. When a system is heated, it will cause the volume to increase and the pressure to decrease. However, the temperature is still the same. The essential condition of isothermal process are temperature should remain constant, changes must take a place at a slow rate, specific heat of the gas is infinite. Second process we'll call is isochoric process. It is defined as a process that occur at constant volume. Constant volume is mean initial volume equal final volume. When volume is constant, what done? W equal zero. Thus, U equal delta U plus W. We get Q equal delta U. Delta U equal U2 minus U1. For more information, we must know in an isochoric process, all the energy added has heat remain in the system has an increase in the internal energy, does the temperature of the system increase? For example, heating a gas in a closed constant volume container is an isochoric process. Now, we look at emission when a system is heated at constant volume state, it will cause the pressure to increase. The temperature in the system also increase. Now, what has been done for this system? The process we call is isobaric process. It is defined as a process that occur at constant pressure. Constant pressure is mean initial pressure equal final pressure. When pressure is constant, delta P equal zero and W equal P delta V. From first law thermodynamic, Q equal delta U plus W. 
V get Q equal delta U plus P delta V. For example, boiling water at constant pressure is an isobaric process. Now, we look at animation. When a system is heated at constant pressure state, it will cause the volume to increase. The temperature in the system also increase. Therefore, the air is expanded, the molecule lost kinetic energy and does positive work on system. Work process we call is adiabatic process. It is defined as a process that occur without heat transfer into or out of a system. U equal zero. Thus, Q equal delta U plus W. Delta U equal U2 minus U1 equal negative W. For example, the compression stroke in an internal combustion engine is an approximately adiabatic process. For more information, we must know number one, for adiabatic expansion V2 greater than V1, W equal positive value, but delta U equal negative value, hence the internal energy of the system decrease. Number two, for adiabatic compression, V2 less than V1, W equal negative value, but Delta U equal positive value has the internal energy of the system increase. Now, we look animation. When motion of piston don't work, the air is compressed. The molecule gain kinetic energy and does negative work on piston. When motion of piston upward, the air is expand. The molecule lost kinetic energy and does positive work on piston. This will cause the temperature in the system to increase. The essential condition of adiabatic process are there should be no transfer of heat energy. Changes must take place at a very fast rate. Specific heat Lastly, is zero. T is the pressure versus volume graph for thermodynamic process. For this form of graph, so for each thermodynamic process, for a constant amount of an ideal gas. Let's look at this graph. We have four parts represent thermodynamic process. Now we discuss part A to B isothermal process, part A to C adiabatic process, part A to D isochoric process, part A to E isobaric process.